Hello everyone. It's time for me to harvest a bunch of my uh, grindle worms. Yeah, they got some flies in there. I bring them outside. Shake all the flies out I can. And this is what we're after. Nice big wads of grindle worms climbing right up the sides. Just harvest them like you do microworms, except they're huge. Get a whole lot more this way. Squishy little bugs, you see. Shake as many out as you can. Pretty soon, you know, nothing else. You keep the number of adults down to a minimum so they don't become a problem. Add some more food. Quick little spritz of water. On to the next container. Here's what it looks like. I know people are always telling me, oh, I grow them on the soilless thing. I've never seen anybody actually have very many worms, though, in the soilless. Now where they could just take their finger and just wipe up just tons of worms like that. So, I took a soilless container that, that I, I don't think had any worms. Hard, I didn't think there was any worms in it at all. That I bought at an auction. I thought they'd all died. Maybe there was babies, eggs, or I don't know. But it's been coming back. I got four of these. But doing two of them is going to have me in good shape. Give them a bunch of. This is a wellness core because that's the dog food we add in with the homemade food for the dogs. Give it a little spritz. Oh, got a bunch here on the top. We can go for. Grindle worms are bigger than brine shrimp, smaller than white worms. Perfect food when your fish fryer just just can't fill them up with baby brine shrimp anymore. They'll go for the grindle worms. So now I'll actually be able to harvest like this again tomorrow. And I have two more containers inside. So that's harvesting grindle worms. Thank you for watching.